Hello guys, I am back. I know I haven't been uploading lately in the- uh, I, I don't have my computer. It broke for the second time. Anyways, in this video we're gonna be showing you guys a really good defense for Zombotany 2. You guys probably didn't know that I played Plants vs. Zombies because I've just recently been getting into the game. Anyways, so here are the plants that you want. You don't need lily pads at all. But what you do want is talnut, garlic, gloom shroom, field trail, coffee bean, sunflower, twin sunflower, kernel pulp, cob canner, potato mine. Put three lily pads in these three lanes. I mean, uh, sorry, sunflowers. Okay, so now you want to put a potato mine wherever the zombie is. Now, right in front of this lane, put a garlic. As you can see, you want to put a potato mine as soon as another zombie comes. Now you want to start putting one twin sunflower. Don't put any more because we are going to replace these sunflowers with another thing. So what you want to do now is head to this lane and put a sunflower here. And then just do pretty much the same thing. So once you get just a little bit too many zombies to handle with potato mines, you want to put a gloom shroom here. Then just let him do the job for a little bit. So I'm going to continue working on this lane. I'll be right back. Okay, once you're done with that lane, you want to take your tall nuts and then you want to add them right here. In front of the gloom shrooms so that they're protected. Alright, next you want to add some cob cannons. So just add one cob cannon in this place right here, then add another right here. I'll be right back, I'm just gonna do that really quick. Now the reason for the cob cannons is in case you get a tougher zombie, like a, for example a tall nut zombie or a walnut zombie, you'll be able to still stay safe from them by using the cob cannons to kill them since the gloom shrooms just aren't enough. So what you want to do next is add some gloom shrooms here right behind the gloom shrooms that you put before. As you guys can see I have all gloom shrooms and all cob cannons in place. So now you're just going to put a second pair of cob cannons right in front of the cob cannons that you put just now. Just like that, our defense is complete. Now, while we're playing, I do want to tell you guys that you do need to replace the garlic every so often. Because as you can see, some things like squash and stuff just do not like me planting them there. So, you just want to add a garlic every so often. Like, if they're like crying or at low health, then you just want to replace them every so often. This is Zombotany, so... You are going to need to replace them a lot because of how many peas there are. Anyways, uh, one more thing. The reason this works is because the gloom shrooms will attack the weaker zombies, for example, the pea shooters, the squashes. And because we put two gloom shrooms instead of one, it's going to be a lot easier to kill the walnuts. As you can see, you don't need cob cannons for them. Also, the jalapenos do not do any damage because as soon as they go in one of these rolls with all your plants, you'll instantly they'll instantly go to another lane. So yeah, that's that's just something cool about them. Anyways, now for the tall nut zombies and other tough things like that, just shoot them with a cob cannon. That's why we put them there. So that nothing bad happens with the cob cannons. As you can see, just like that. We won. 
And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up today's video. I hope you guys use this out. Don't question my clown house, please. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. All right, there we go. Now our house is so much better. I just, I just switched it for $300. Yeah, whatever. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this tutorial helps you out in Zombotany 2. Um, yeah, um, like and subscribe if you want, I guess. And, uh, bye.